Selamun Aleyküm ve hoş geldiniz arkadaşlar. Heute werde ich euch den zweiten Teil der Vorzeichen des Kıyama, Kıyamet oder auch bekannt als die Apokalypse vorstellen. Da viele von euch abgestimmt haben und einen zweiten Teil unbedingt sehen wollten, habe ich nun für euch das Video fertiggestellt. Bitte schaut euch das Video bis zum Ende an. Besonders die Muslime unter euch sollten sich das Video auf jeden Fall bis zum Ende ansehen. Ich verabschiede mich dann mal. Bis zum nächsten Mal, liebe Freunde. Euer Erturul Bey. Only a real prophet could make such clear and accurate predictions. The prophet also said that in the end times, female singers and musical instruments will become popular. With popular, it's meant that these things will be achieved on a global scale. Today we can see numerous female artists who have attained worldwide fame. This has never happened before in the history of mankind. And again we can see the words of our Prophet being fulfilled, right in front of our eyes. In the end times, people will dance late into the night. Muslim men will resemble unbelieving men. Muslims will slowly, but deeply, appropriate the traditions and ways of the Christians. Believers turn into unbelievers and will sell their religion for non-essential things of this world. Women who will be dressed, yet will appear to be naked. They will seduce men and will be inclined towards them. with something on their heads that looks like the humps of camels, leaning to one side. Clothed, but unclothed. You know, some of the swimwear, if you look at, or some of the gym wear, if you look at, they, they, they like, like, who are you? It's, it's not clothing. Kasiyatun ariya. Clothed, but naked. Or if you look a more moderate tafsir, if you like, clothing will be very tight or it will be see-through or there will be cuts and slits around the sides and so on and so forth. So that although it pretends it doesn't show, it shows. The Prophet said, most certainly people from my nation will consume liquor, which they will describe with some other name. This is a prediction and a reference to the different brands of alcohol that are available today. Liquor stores are strewn throughout the city of Oman. By law, bars and liquor stores must be owned and run by Christians. No Muslims allowed. However, Muslims are perfectly free to patronize them, and they do. Our customers are both Christians and Muslims. We don't really have problems here. There will be many women of child-bearing age who will no longer give birth. Women continue to delay having children, according to new data from the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. The average age for first-time mothers increased from 24 in 2000 to 26 in 2014. The Prophet said these women will enter the workforce out of love for this world. And this is why they will delay having children. Researchers believe the trend of waiting to have children will continue as more women focus on career before starting a family and as they pursue fertility options like egg freezing. In the end times, there will be snubbing and standoffishness among people. There will be an abundance of food, much of which has no blessing in it. This is clearly a reference to fast food which has absolutely no nutritional value. Wealth will increase so much, so that if a man were given 10,000, he would not be content with it. But the wealth will be shared out only among the rich, with no benefit to the poor. The rich will get richer and richer. Today, the top 1% wealthy people have half of all the wealth in the world. The decoration of mosques will be a matter of pride and competition. 
abundance of police squads and oppressive officials who wield whips the size of the tails of cattle. Men will begin to look like women. And women will begin to look like men. And there are many signs that should be troubling to people. The Prophet predicted same-sex marriage. I mean, that's a sound hadith. He said the end of time will not come until a man marries a man and a woman marries a woman. Boys, today, Ireland became the first country in the world to pass a constitutional referendum allowing same-sex marriage. This is the moment same-sex supporters... And we have no evidence in human history that that was ever... We have no evidence that any culture has ever sanctioned same-sex marriage. But he said it will be one of the signs of the end of time. He said you will see nikah al-rajul al-rajul. Wa nikah al-mar'ati al mara And nikah here means clearly marriage because homosexuality existed. So he wasn't talking about homosexuality or, or, or musahaqa. He was talking about marriage. <laughs> You know, he predicted that the, the, the buildings of Mecca would surpass the mountains. And who could have thought of that in the 7th century of Arabia? Who could have thought of that? He predicted that people would go out of their houses with uh, things on their thighs that would tell them what was happening back in their families. He said that people would talk to Shirakun Alihi, which in Arabic, Shirakun Al is this. That's the, that is what a Shirakun Ali, which is the universal sign today for telephone. And he said a man will talk to his Shirakun Al. You know, that's how people say it, right? The, the Arabs call that Shirakun Al. The Prophet ﷺ predicted many, many things that have come true that in the, seventh, in the seventh century in Arabia, it just would not have been possible to pr predict those things or, or they wouldn't even occur to people. The Prophet said, children born outside of marriage will become commonplace. In Colombia, more than eight out of every 10 children are born to unwed mothers. But the actual percent of U.S. births to unmarried women has gone up a lot. 2002, 34% of all births. 2013, 40.6% of all births in the U.S. In 1960, 5% of children entered the world without a mother and father married to each other. By 1980, it was 18%. By 2000, it had risen to 33%. And 15 years later, the number reached 41%. The Prophet said, in the end times, obesity would become prevalent. Well, the explosion of overweight and obese people in the developing world is largely down to the emerging economies, those that have, uh, have gone through a transition from being low-income economies to middle-income economies in the last generation. And that has produced a large middle class of people who have rising incomes and they can buy the foods they want and they're undertaking more sedentary lifestyles. And voices will be raised in mosques. <laughs> rain will be acidic or burning. Acid rain is any form of precipitation with high levels of nitric and sulfuric acids. It can occur in the form of snow, fog, and even dry materials that settle to earth. Most acid rain is caused by human activities. These signs leave absolutely no doubt about the prophethood of Muhammad. May the blessings of Allah be upon him. It's impossible somebody could predict all these signs 1400 years ago, except a prophet of God. These hadith were recorded thousands of years ago, in manuscripts that have been carbon dated back thousands of years by scientists. What these signs also prove is that there is absolutely no doubt left that we are living in the end times. All the minor signs that have been prophesied, have come to pass right in front of our eyes as you saw in this video. This means we are on the brink of seeing the major signs of the end times. The real question is not when is the last hour. The question is...
What have you prepared for it? These are dark times, there is no denying. And when this is taking place, the mother who's got a child, she on that day will remember that she had a child. Why? Because the sound of the horn. The sound of the horn is so terrifying that you will see mankind will be in a drunken state, but in reality, they won't be drunk. The hadith of Abu Huraira comes to mind. He said that Shaitan and his army will begin to run and they will begin to hide. They will begin to run and they will begin to hide. The Quran says on that day, there is no refuge. He will look above the people and what will they see? They will see the sky will look like the black, black filth of oil. It will crack piece by piece. The earth beneath them, it will crack piece by piece. The oceans will be on fire on that day and they will explode from their places. Allahu Akbar, picture this in your mind. That the oceans, they will be on fire and they will explode from their places. The stars will lose their shine and they will come crashing down and there'll be darkness everywhere. And when there is darkness everywhere, nothing will remain. Every single thing in the universe will come to an end. The hadith of Abu Huraira says that the angel of death, it will say to Allah, Oh Allah, all those are in the heaven and all those are in the dunya, they have come to an end. Except for those who you wish to remain alive of Allah, Allah will say, who remains? And the angel will say, oh Allah, Jibrail remains, Mikael remains, Israfil remains, and the angels who are carrying your throne, they remain. Allah the Almighty will say, let death come to Jibrail, let death come to Mikael, let death come to Israfil and let death come to all those angels who are carrying my throne. Then Allah will say, who remains? Yeah, Allah knows who remains. Allah will say to the angel of death, who remains? And the angel will say, oh Allah, I remain, you remain, no one else remains. Yeah, then Allah will say, I created you for a purpose. You have fulfilled your purpose. You also die and he will die. And then Allah the Almighty, he will roll up all the heavens in his hands. He will roll up all the worlds in his hands. And Allah will raise his voice and Allah will say, I am the Almighty Allah. I am the Almighty Allah. For whom is the divine rule today? For whom is the power today? For whom is the kingdom today? I am the king of all kings. Where are your dictators? Where are your oppressors? No one will answer. Allah himself will answer. And Allah will say, power is for Allah. Might is for Allah. The one, the only, the irresistible.